How's it going? Yo bugger again, back for another third. We promise this is Rihanna the last time. Bl- vlog. We promise no more Rihanna after this one. It's kind of like it's pretty much over. over. But we figured because of the fact that apparently the news, Rihanna and Chris Brown are pretty back together again. TMZ has footage of them walking off a plane in LA. So okay. okay, I mean, did, where do I begin? Work the magic, Eric. Work the magic. First Come of on. all, I'm very upset and I'm very sad. Saddened. Upset and saddened. Let me use Chris Brown's words exactly. I'm deeply saddened and upset at the fact that Rihanna left her sanctity and her hometown of Barbados and decided to come back to L.A. not to prosecute Chris Brown for all of the horrible and atrocious things he did to her face and or other parts of her body, but instead to be in cahoots with this person who brutally beat you just a few days allegedly, ago. Erica. Allegedly. Allegedly beat you. <laughs> just a few days ago. So, I don't know. This whole thing just really makes me sad. And it just... If, if there's one thing that anybody um, can get from this is that, you know, domestic violence doesn't just happen, you know, for no reason. It happens because there's a cycle. There's a pattern. And it's very difficult once you get into that pattern to get out of it. I mean, sure, these people are in the public eye and they're celebrities, but this type of thing is happening to young women all over the place and there's never going to be any publicity for those people and there's never going to be any help for those people unless we all take a stand and help them. So, Rihanna, this is me telling you, girl, wake up because it's only going to keep happening. And if the rumors are true and you were beating him and doing things to him also, then you also need help. And you need to stand up and step up and say that that's what was going on. And both of y'all need to get help. You can use what happened to the two of you to help other people. And I feel like it's your right and your responsibility to do so. I don't feel like it's fair for you guys to, you know, have all this media attention on you and not to tell the truth with what happened. So if that's really what happened, then both of y'all need to step up and tell the truth. So... A lot of females especially have dealt with this kind of domestic violence. I know I've at least one time had this kind of, not same thing, but... I definitely have had that experience where, you know, guys hurting you in some way, shape, or form, and you're not, you're not sure if, you're, if, if, if you should blame them or love them or throw the book at them. And Rihanna, I don't know what happened to you that night, but... Photos don't really lie all that unless you Photoshop them. Okay. So and those two like buckhorns on the top of your head, like <laughs> I'm laughing now, but I'm sure that that was painful. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all both, if that's what's going on, y'all are like tag team beating up on each other. You need to get some help. You like both of y'all are counseling. And there needs to be separation because you can't even fully mend off of what yeah. things should not go back to normal. And I really hope that they don't for either one of y'all. I hope that. You know, all those contracts that Chris Brown lost, I hope that those continue, you know, I hope that he continues to feel the weight of the ramifications of what he has done. And if there's some stuff that Rihanna has done, I feel like, you know, this is a good time to mention that, you know, sometimes it's a cold beat down. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just men beating down on women. It happens because women often are the first ones to hit. So that's a part of it, and that's a real part of it. So either way it goes, we wish Chris Brown and Rihanna the best of luck in their life and lots of happiness, but you guys really just should take this time to be apart. Go on some spiritual quest. That's how I feel. Something. Go, go chill in India or something. What do you guys think out there in, in yo... Land, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube land. media, yeah, Radio Radio Google Google land. Land. Like, what do you think? Well, like, do you, do you feel like they should just go on with their lives as normal? Like, do you feel like they sh- they have paid enough? Their debt to society is now fulfilled. Or are they, they such a ahead? such a love hate kind of thing? And they should just stop and stop hurting each other if that's the case. But anyways, just write your little comments down in the little comment box. Type them out there. Write them down. And again, this is our last few on a vlog. We are not forever. To... So don't put anything more of this unless unless they make us and we'll probably under be under duress or gunpoint. 